hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to see how we can create a custom method or a generic method or a reusable component where we can handle the select class or where we can handle the drop down values right so if you if you take a look to this code right what this code will do first of all i'll, I'll try to explain it okay so what this code will do is <clears throat> it will uh, first of all it will find the element okay which element we are talking about here city and it will again first it will then uh, the next line is to hold the values out of this uh, drop down okay like this these values we are talking about and then i will be printing the values until i find this jaipur once i will find the jaipur as a value i am just selecting that value okay so i want and if you see here we have multiple drop downs right here the country one this drop downs right so we have in total i think we have five drop downs right so if i have to handle all these five drop downs i'll be rewriting this entire code again and again right so instead of rewriting this code again and again what i can do i can create a custom method okay right so let, let's see how we can create custom code or basically you can say reusable method okay and the, the same thing i have explained in my previous video for the button maybe you can take a look to this one also okay or you can say generic method to handle the drop downs okay in your code now first of all you need to take a look to this code very carefully and see like what all things you need to pass right so if you see this is the xpath right obviously this xpath will keep on changing for all the drop downs right so in the function we need to make a parameter for this xpath now second thing is like which option you wanted to select that will again change right because Jaipur will not be able to see in the day, right? So this value and the X path, these two things we need to be par needs to be parameterized, right? So let's see. Uh, first of all, I'll go outside this main function, right? Okay, we'll create one function, All right? Let's say select drop down value okay okay and i'll just paste my code from here okay you'll see one error for the driver because this driver it, it will not be able to find because it is uh, defined in the main class main function right so i have to make it as on the i have to declare this uh, on the class level basically okay now we are good uh, let me just uh, okay yeah so if you see here what I will do, I'll just directly call this function and see if, if the code works fine first of all or not. Okay, then we will make it parameters. We'll see like how we can do it. So if you see, I'm able to select Jet, right? Now, I wanted to handle all the drop downs, right? Not just this one. So what I will do, I'll use this function and again and again. Let's say five drop downs I have, I wanted to select. I wanted to use all so now i don't have to rewrite this entire code i can call this function and again and again right but if i try to call this function again and again it will perform the same operation on the city i have to perform on different drop downs right so let's say country first so okay so before using this, okay, let, let's make this function as generic. Okay, so I, I'll be passing, I'll be de declaring few parameters here, like string xpath, right? Because xpath will be always in strings, right? This is a string, right? 
and instead of this x path what i'll do i'll pass this value now the second thing is the text which you wanted to select again that will be a string like value to be select right so these two parameters obviously uh, needs to be changed every time right i mean whenever we are dealing with the drop down values we have to change these values right so now you have to pass these values right? so if you see here as soon as i'm i'm trying to call this function i need to pass two values one is for x path and the other one is for value right now so let let me first copy the x path for this one at second tree okay and then i'll select some value out of this let's say anything iceland okay i hope i have written this spelling correctly otherwise it will not match okay otherwise it will not match yeah and then let's say i wanted to select the value from this drop down as well okay if i select iceland there will not be any city okay is there anything where we can see city i don't know maybe india only um, okay that is fine then what i'll do i'll select the month as well and in the month we'll select let's say april okay and in the same way let's say let, let's say i wanted to select the year as well so if you see i'm i'm not writing that code again and again i'm reusing it with the different drop downs right and then here let's say 2020 okay uh, that's that's it i think that's that's fine let's let's continue with these three as of now let me run my code and we'll see like if we are able to select all these values or not for these three drop downs otherwise this video will be unnecessarily lengthy so if you see i am able to select iceland year month right with the same code right i didn't wrote different codes for the different drop downs right since my drop downs are same i can reuse this code again and again right the only thing i need to change is the parameter right so this is how you can create a reusable method for the drop downs or a generic method to handle the drop downs right you can create multiple methods for the drop down also let, let's suppose you wanted to select you wanted to see like uh, the total values in the drop down right so again you can write one custom code okay let's say let's say total drop down values okay in this that case you don't need a value to be selected right you just want the length so you don't need this if condition you don't even have to print the values right you just have to find the length right to get the length you can simply use one function size okay because it's a list now let's try it with one of the or all these three let's say it won't take much time i hope okay or best way is to yeah let me just change it quickly okay and then i'll just remove the parameters instead of copying it so what it do basically what th these functions will do they will give you the count right so let's try to run this
okay now let's see if it has given the length also or not so this is the length or this is the size of these dot drums so if you see okay so let's just verify it so this is for the year okay that this one okay so in the year one you'll see we have 13 values so how i know this is the year one okay let, let's see just to cross verify just for your confirmation you can say okay okay Let me just copy this expert again just to show you that we are see if you see okay sorry this one my bad so if you see this expert it is similar to the last second last one right where we are getting 13 results see 83 select 2 we are getting 13 and if you see in this drop down we have 13 12 months and one is for month total 13 records right so this is how you can create as many as custom functions as you want according to your requirement right and you can reuse it again and again so 